was Parker's first pro fight. Okay. So he, he has a little insight on how Parker the Deer fights. So, you know, maybe that'll help him out a little bit, yeah. knowing what's coming. He knows the punches are coming to the shots. Yeah. He knows that Parker was gonna put you against the cage. You know, so. Of the Green Street Dispensary Blue Corner. He comes with a record of four wins and five losses. Coming from Denton, Texas, give it up for Victor Ratcliffe. And his opponent representing Charlie's Chicken Red Corner. He comes in with one win, no defeats. All the way from Greenwood, Arkansas, Parker Didier. Part of that Greenwood, Arkansas well, football number dynasty. One. Yeah. Coming up. You see a lot of their athletes, you know, go on to do a lot of big things in sports. A lot of big, oh, he says, no, we ain't touching gloves. Victor said, not today. And it's that good versus evil. I'm telling you. Who shall he's going to ball with the ball. The dark energy's been losing all night. That's Ooh. Nice. There's a takedown. Looking for that guillotine. Attempted takedown. Get with it, noob. <laughs> They're on the ground, aren't they? <laughs> they are. I'll take my apology after the fight. Ooh. Well, it was still, it wasn't 100% complete. Was fight of the night. Called. Would you say uh, Parker really concentrates on his wrestling? Is that like his go-to? Man, I would say that, but the guys he works with, the, the goal is not to do any one thing. Gotcha. You know? Just kind of mix it all up. Absolutely. <clears throat> but he's not going to come across anything he's not seen in the gym. Mm -hmm. You I think mean, with Victor. Th that guy in this corner, Brian Foster, you know, that's one of his main sparring partners. And that and, Justin Gaethje, yeah. John Fitch, Jake Shields. Yeah. Got to watch and those lineage. sphinx traps right there. Yep. It's, it's, it's hard not to, man. Yeah. It's hard it's not to a, grab that. It's game. just a natural reaction. Ooh, almost an Ooh. elbow. Because this is pro MMA. Yeah, you, you got to think elbow. Parker's only have one pro fight, so throwing yeah. those elbows isn't natural for him yet. Yeah. Like, at all. Knees the head either. You know, and in, in, in even Victor's record, you look at it, there's there's still experience and losses. In yeah, Oklahoma, absolutely. knees to the head are legal in amateur. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. Thought. yeah. I, thought, I, thought, I thought we were talking about something else. Scoop knew that. Yeah. Elbows. Well, Park is also from Arkansas, and most oh, of his fights yeah. have been in Arkansas. That makes sense. Can you do them in Arkansas? No, an amateur. But see, right, this head position, keeping his head on the cage. That's, see, yeah. That's so miserable to have your head up against that cage wall. Oh yeah, and he's he's really doing a great job Look, keeping his guard, though. I mean, Victor yeah, absolutely. Is. But it's still, I mean, exhausting trying to keep someone. From hitting you, <coughs> excuse me, from yeah. hitting Ooh, you. Look at that elbow. Nice, a nice little tight elbow. Over the top. You gotta be careful with those, though. You can slip yourself into a bad spot. Yes, you can. Those, giving them your cross body. He's got three minutes left in this round. Someone's yeah. gonna have to. Someone, someone's got to give. He was. Victor was looking to grab under that leg. I don't know if he was looking for a pendulum sweep. He's or, been trying a lot of different. He's been opening his guard, yeah. looking for a bunch of different things. You can tell. Which is something Parker needs to work on. When that guard opens, you know, head pressure, pop your your rear end out. And get pass. up or get out. Yeah. Because yeah. Parker obviously wants to keep him here. He's definitely not going to lose the round if he keeps fighting like this. Yeah, this is this is good control. Uh, got a little bit of damage in on him. Ooh, Ooh that one. He's got a, he had a great chance to pass This is there. also going to wear out Victor. Guard. I mean, you're trying to throw up submissions, sweeps, try not to get hit, try not to get knocked out or cut. Yeah. You know, it's it's going to it's going to wear you out. And with a guy like Parker, he's very imposing when he's when he's in there against you. You know, he's going to make you play his game. Yeah. And he's good at his game. And see, a lot of people don't realize that sitting in this But Victor's spacing out real good right here with this, with that knee shield. He needs to do something with it. He's looking for that Kimura. And a lot of the time, those single attacks really really aren't going to yeah. be effective when the person knows pretty much what you're doing. Yeah. It's a good control position because now he can't, he great he can't punch him on there. Too, well, this is that Kevin Holland position right yeah. here for Victor. Look at that. Yeah, right there. That yep. back fist, that back elbow. Yeah. He's back there. Looking for that arm bar triangle set up. Like you said, he needs to add things together. Exactly. Yeah. And you need to explode too. It's 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 great because he's holding him there in position and taking less damage. But sometimes you gotta ride that razor's edge yeah. and explode up and try an oopa. You know, try you know try getting yeah. them them moving and then trying to scramble out. You gotta create a scramble. 
Absolutely, because that first move is never going to be the one no. that gets you out of it. Oh. No. But it's going to make him react. But see, even like right here, boom. Almost looks like he's this trying to go. Really yeah, it looks like he's now, trying to though. go for a flower sweep right there. Yeah, but he's got Parker's got him stacked. Yeah. yeah. You know, up against he's the, pushing his, his yeah. face down. Nice elbow. You know, I think he'll make it out of this round pretty easy. He's demonstrating great control. Absolutely. And then holding him there. There's that body lock. He's going to pass. I don't Maybe think he not. wants to pass. Yeah, it seems like he doesn't want to. And that's kind of crazy because why wouldn't you just keep, you know, like, yeah, you know, yeah. at least, I mean, tire him out and keep making him keep making him work even when you're controlling. See, he's going to step yeah, over. He's going to. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Great Victor sweep. gets back on top. Yeah, Parker was... doing a good job getting out. But, you know, Parker's with 20 back. seconds, it's. Back to half guard. Yep. He knows what to do from here. Oh, they looks like do. he's going for an Ezekiel right there. Landing that elbow. Ten seconds. I just, it's taking a lot out of Victor God, to go from bottom to top. I mean, I'm telling you, one of those oh, and yeah. it'll cut you open. Too late to even try for that. Yeah. You know, I knew he, I knew he probably wouldn't even get that Ezekiel because one of partner, Parker's like main training partners, like the Ezekiel's his bread. And oh, butter. it is. Yeah. Uh, nice. That, Tyler Skeet's kid, pretty yeah. good. That yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I, I hear things. Like two or three AGF finishes, you know, with it. So it's like. You know what, though? I, I hear things about him. I'm not going to say him on the air just because I, I want to be respectful. Oh, bro. You know what I mean? But, Trust uh, me, I understand. That, that dude, uh, he's a piece of work. You know, the just the word finish doesn't come to mind when I think of that guy. No. You know what I mean? He's like three and six in May. All three are finishes. I mean, he's, he's good at dancing. You know what I mean? Like no, he's rhythm. Good at, you know, no rhythm. No rhythm. No rhythm. But can move his feet. No rhythm, but the boy's got soul. Oh, so much so. I mean, gosh. So what do you think about standing in between rounds? Do you uh, think it's a power move? I think it is a power move, and I would sit. I don't think so. I would sit. I was looking, I always, I was looking for the stool in the third dude, round. Oh, <laughs> man, like, you need it. But then also, too, it gives you a I'll sense of, it. like, a sense of uh, comfort where you're like, oh, I could just sit on this stool forever. Victor is. Victor's smiling, yeah. but his body's saying something different. Parker meets him across the cage. Parker needs to light him up with that too. This might be the. You might see some Victor needs in to. There. Victor needs to keep moving. In uh, you got to add combos. You, single shots yeah. are great, but like you said, you're gonna see those coming right. But if I you see bop, a, bop, bop, I see a did your take nice down in the future. future. Yeah, it's the second or third or fourth punch that usually catches people. I'm definitely seeing a takedown in the near future, especially uh. if they get to this cage. Well, especially if Victor keeps lunging forward like that, all Parker needs to do is just drop down, and he's more likely than not going to complete a, a takedown. But it looks like he wants to keep it standing, which I think is a great shot, but Victor looks tired. Yeah, Victor's looking. Taking a deep breath. Deep breath. Ooh. Parker's just. Oh, spinning Ooh. back elbow. Parker said give me some more, though. Isn't yeah. it crazy when you're tired that you throw the, the craziest crazy. stuff? The stuff that takes the most energy. Yes. Because you're trying to get out, you're trying to finish the fight. Parker could easily finish this with two. Absolutely. Just boom, just putting that, put, cutting that angle, cut that, yes. Oh, that nice elbow. elbow. But you know as good as anybody, finishing is a lot easier said Dude, than Dude, it is, you're trying everything. I, those knees at the middle, when, when Victor covers the way he does, he's leaving his body wide open. <clears throat> and that's only gonna take down his power <clears throat> bar. Ooh, double unders. Nice, good oh, that knee. was good. Not, oh, he should have landed it. He was at, oh, dude, Parker's a nice dude. because he with the sidestep. He brought that knee up, but it was almost like he didn't even really land it. Uh, yeah, Sounds Victor, like Victor's got a crowd here for him. Yeah, Victor's throwing his, he's throwing the playbook at him. But by the third round, he's just going to try it. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Nice, Parker. Going there. See, like right, I said. That's the difference in those, you know, we talk about like pros and those higher level pros. Yeah. You know, Parker separated there right there, this. and he didn't throw something. That just shows you, like, that next step he'll, when he takes it someday. Also, being the taller guy does help in a lot of positions Yeah. that you can dictate the the spacing. About to see some wall wrestling here, boys. Yeah. And, this, and to be honest, I think this is kind of a bad move for Victor, especially when you're tired. Look, Great card it might give him, hey, It might give him a chance to... Catch his breath a he little bit. He wants to get back to the cage. Victor wants his back on the cage. Use it to get up. Sitting here in the middle is nothing but eating what Parker's going to throw. Let's at see. Him. This is what Parker should just do: is just stay there <laughs> and just beat him up. I like those little belly punches. And then he should roll. Yeah. He's going to pass. Nice over under. 
the legs are the threat on the ground. This is a, this is a tough spot nice to Nice elbow. Looks like he's trying to set up a crucifix. Oh, going to uh, sitting right, right back in front of him. There we go. Kind of goes to a butterfly. Keeps finding his way back to that guard. Absolutely. And I, th I think he feels comfortable there. <clears throat> but it's but not going to win him the fight. That's, no, that's for absolutely. Sure. Well, I think, I think it's a negative thing for both guys to be yeah. going back to the guard. But Parker has been finding success here. Like I said, Victor, if he makes that space, pushes off, creates space, he might be able to get back to his knees. That's a tough spot. You know? but right there. I mean, it's not where you want to be, especially with someone on top of you punching you. Parker's getting told to stand up right here. Right. And he, yes, and he's just going to pass. Good pass. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> Victor trying to hook that leg. I think, I think Parker's corner is wanting to finish here. This is a fight, though, man. Both these guys are tired. Nice oh, knee. Yeah. Oh, that was a good knee. He hurt him with that knee. The ref almost wanted to. What? It's over. Oh. Uh, I didn't see it oh, from this oh. side. It, uh, he said it was low. Oh, uh, no. He's done. I thought he was quitting. I, it didn't look low to me, but I couldn't see it from that, this side. Yeah. That's <clears throat> it. Yeah. I'll leave that to Rocky. He's a good ref, man. I'm not going to. I'm not going to call against him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got our nut cracker. Someone got cracked in the nuts. Hey, Parker. Hey, Parker. Hey, Reese said that was to his body, bro. Keep going to his body, though. I don't think, I don't think he's getting back up. Yeah, I think the thing here is, you know. Well, he does have five minutes to recover. Oh, okay. He'll get back up. Well, here's the thing, though. Victor's getting his breath back, and he's, he's trying but to get that back. The other, but Parker's but that's also the thing, getting though. his breath back. That's what I always hated. Make yep. the other guy do jumping jacks, sit-ups, push-ups while I'm fucking wrestling. I hey, hate man, that. I've had three fights being hit in the nuts, and I always like, hey, let's go. Like, I'm yeah, not yeah. No, rest. I don't want you to rest either. I always ask the refs before the fight, hey, man, we get one warning, right? You know, you always Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure, 100%. This is like splitting hairs. I'm kind of a. I want to watch this fight. I do too. It's those fights that have a lot of tension. You know what I mean? Hey, that let's go, P. Diddy. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cough. Did you? Yes. I'm going to be calling the betting, uh, the betting industries I'm on I'm going to get 10 years. I'm going to be in there with Kraus. I do think he might do time for this. Dude, uh, insider trading is 10 years, like, off the bat. And yeah. it depends on how much was lost. I mean, Martha Stewart went dude, to prison you, for dude, it. Dude, you don't mess They'll with get people's Look money. At, at you don't mess with big, like, rich people's money. Oh, yeah. You mess with our money. I mean, it don't matter. Yeah, the, the, the minute you go to the, the lizard global lords, hey, black helicopters. They didn't want us on the radio. They didn't want us on these television networks. But see, yours is a little more macho, man. Yours is like, hey, brother. They make the frogs gay. That's that's better. Oh, and Scoob, like we're back to the fight. Wow, the here we go. Big pick up. He's looking for that guillotine. He ain't going to get it. Yeah. Not there. Ooh, They're it looks like sweaty, he's, man. yeah. And, and if you don't have the energy for it, you're. He, he's got that butterfly hook, and I think that's going to end up working against him. I think so, too. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, look at you. Half guard. That might have been some insider trading, though. Uh, Daniel Carey, which is you know one of Parker's teammates, <clears throat> half guard's like one of his main things. That's so his thing. I know that Parker's been here before if he grapples with little guys. Well, and that's the thing too is, especially just oh, in jujitsu, it's it's different. Oh, oh uh, looks like he wants no. to step over. Parker's first finish on his teammate was with a head and arm. He does have his head in the right spot, but he is on the wrong side. If he finishes this man, this is a tight squeeze. But it's in a good – oh, but Victor pulling oh, up against – Yeah, it's 10 seconds. Man, we're going to see a third round, guys. <laughs> this is insane. Minutes. Hey, father, not what I tell you. I call right. it insider trading. Insider it's, trading. Insider trading, baby. I'm calling Ty Pilgrim. He's in, huh? Get him on the television. Brother. The frogs. This is our third and third round. The frogs. Dude. Hey, guys, get in here with me real quick. We're making the frogs gay. <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah, this, man, this, I think, I wonder, like, does the cage size have much to do with the way the fight plays out? I definitely think so. I think it does. Yeah. I'm, I mean, every fight here with a little cage was always wall wrestling. Yeah, always. 100%. And I, I felt like in my fight I had plenty of room to move. And, like, that is really hard to finish somebody that doesn't want to get finished right now. I think this is going to be a, a nice thing for, you know, Alfred Walker, too. Yeah, this, yeah, this absolutely, cage, man. Him fighting in this cage is going to be If you great. have cardio, this big cage is beautiful. Oh, yeah. absolutely. His third round, Parker meets him halfway. Victor's looking good though, man. Like Victor you know. got some respect for him in this third round oh, though. He 100%. touched he touched gloves. Yeah. Oh you yeah. got to though, man. Also too, it gives you a little bit extra time. I think Parker checked that a little bit. Yeah, I think that I Parker think. needs to stay longer and just snipe yeah. him from outside. There's that body shot. And then set up his head kick and then he could probably end up finishing. He could finish with the body to Victor. But he could, like, look how Victor's, he's fearing the takedown because he doesn't want to get taken down again. So look where his hands are. Ooh. And he's tired. So you can, yeah, just that, and then boom, go right to the head. And the diff look at that head movement. Like, Parker's off the side. There's that head kick you're talking about, you, man. I'm telling it's you. coming. It's either a knee's going to go up the middle, a two's going to go up the middle, or a head kick. You ever seen that meme that's like, you know, we got. <laughs> the uppercut. We got, uh, we got McDonald's at home. Yeah. Victor's yeah. kind of like Victor kind of reminds me of if uh, mom said you got Diego Sanchez at home. Oh you know yeah, I mean? or uh, Cub Swanson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fighting every weekend, you know. Man, not to. Oh, oh that's a good show. That was a nice angle. It's, oh, that. it's nice seeing this like 06 MMA fighter back in the cage. Though. Yeah, and that's what I was about to say, man. I think if he had a, like another, I'm, this is not over, but if he had Victor another fight or two in, yeah. get that rust off. Oh, yeah. Victor needs to get his hands up. But Parker's just sniping right now. I mean, he's looking beautiful. That's more than 10 years from 2016, from 2006. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So, uh, this, is, this might as well be a debut fight. Yeah. It's been a minute, man. But he's going, he's th this is third round with a tough dude. It's also cool to see, like, the twilight of someone's career. And the beginning. And the dawn, yeah. yeah. I mean. And the very beginning. Good I, knee. Yeah. Ooh. You got to keep him hands up. That's why he's got to stay out. Absolutely. Keep you your range. got three minutes left, too. This is an Amy round now. Well, Parker had several five-round fights as an amateur. Oh, like, really? Yeah, he had, like, four or five, I think. He had a few rematches. Uh, Frank Rayford, he Bring that twice. up a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, nice little punch. Yeah. That's some sneaky vet move right there. You see Parker still walking forward. Yeah. Well, because he feels comfortable yeah. in with him. He's got that. Ooh. Man, that little, that little float, float jab. I hate to see. I hate when guys do this. <laughs> oh! oh! That was good. Oh. <laughs> you literally called it. Inside you might see that team. same thing that's been happening guys, all night, right? He should break here. off head kick. Break off head oh. kick. He's looking for that finish. Where's that knee to the head? He needs space. Oh wow! What a gladiator! If he if he starts mesmerizing him a little bit, he can end up hitting that. He needs to cut off that angle right there, force him over to the other side. He needs to get off that cage. I'm getting worried. Everyone's hit a step off too, dude, and knock their know, guy out tonight. It, it, <laughs> nice uppercut by Parker. This is one of the Victor's being tough. Yeah. Victor's dude. tough as nails. Nice, and Parker with these just, these little Ooh. two punches are, are doing it, you know? Yeah, but if he adds three or four, I th you know, I think he finishes it. That's what he did with the head kick. Yeah. That was the third or fourth I'm, strike. I'm telling you. Yeah, you called it, man. You might have the bad Thanks, sweater, but, I, but you got hey. the. Hey, I, I got the hey, good, the good in knowledge. Hey, Germany, they're just sweaters. Yeah. <clears throat> Those knees are definitely probably the hardest strikes that Parker's thrown minus that head kick. How frustrated do you think Parker is going to be looking back at this fight? Oh, yeah. At no, the opportunities yeah. to finish. But at the yeah. same time, man. But also, too, the, you know, like when he's in there, and you know this, it's That's like you, you, you're you not, you know. You oh, can, yeah. You can't see that on the end because you don't want to get you're looking rocked to win, by man. something, you know. Yeah. When Parker's ground control was so dominant. If he passes, the fight would have been over in the first round. Yeah. Absolutely. Had he passed. But, man, this is a this is his second fight as a pro. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? He does have – I think this is his 14th or 15th fight overall. Hey, Scoob, we call, we call it like we see it, buddy. Man. You know? If we see he could have finished, he should have But finished. he's also fighting a guy with a lot of years of man. experience. See? Who had great guard retention, I mean. And, yep, and then as he walks back, he needs Ooh. to throw it. See, right here, you're seeing – I think Parker's looking more – like, right now, more like, – He looks a lot homed. fresher. 
honed in, than he did yeah. the first. He's slipping. He's well, and, he, and he's already taken all the power that Victor has. Yep. He knows so where now, there is. Yeah, so he, he's feeling comfortable in there, and Victor's doing a good job. At least his hands are coming up now to block. But you could, you could tell he's eating a lot of shots that are going to wear him out. I mean, still good spinning back kicks. Oh! Another head oh, kick, yeah. man. He ate he it like ate candy, it. dude. He eats it like candy, bro. He nodded his head. He said, give me another. Yeah. Oh, Take that's going to secure the round. That's a beautiful fight, baby. That's a beautiful fight. I like that fight. one. I think that, that was, was a fight good of the fight. Night, I, man. I, I would agree. I didn't get to see why it goes. So that was, to me, it was, that that was, was a probably, bloodbath. that was awesome. It, it was like, been better, but it reminded me of Cameron's fight when he uh, knocked that guy he, out with the uh, head kick. Yep. I was here As for that he got too. up, that was a great one. Man, that's cool to see, you know, Foster coming in, picking up his guy. Yeah. You know, Foster's not a guy that shows the love like that yeah. all the time. Yeah. But man, that's his, you know, besides his son, you know, that's Brian's protege right there. That's the guy really, that that's listens the guy he's to building every, up. Yeah. Parker listens to every word Brian says. Like hey. it's the like, you know, there's the word of God, there's what Parker's parents tell him, and then there's what Brian says. Yeah. You know? And it's beautiful to see. And Victor did not, you know, his stock did not lower at all. Like no. he went out there, he's tough no, as nails. Dude, he made a smart decision. There's nothing. Now know, he'll even, feel that tomorrow. Oh, for sure. Those head kicks. He might feel that for a little while. There too. You know what though? Victor did a great job surviving some really yeah. good attacks. But Victor came out here and he represented. Yeah, and I hope that's the not the last time we see him. Hey, that'd be cool to see him again. Yeah. What did he say? He said our Christmas sweaters were amazing. Oh, because they are. Let's get our fighters to the center of the cage. He's looking at his parents right now. <coughs> hey man, that. Whew. Those last two fights were Ladies fun and to watch. gentlemen, all three judges scored this bout 30 to 27, and your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Parker Didier. Nice. I don't think Brian Foster lost one tonight. Uh, Alex Stevens. Uh, yeah, they went. We went five and one tonight. And none of and none of us had easy fights, man. Yeah. You know. That means someone's walk. Some, I mean, that means five people walked away with losses, yeah. though. Yeah, absolutely, man. But five people learned too. You know, none of the guys that lost tonight. I don't think I saw a fight tonight that somebody lost where I looked at it and go, "That guy's not going to come back yeah. better." You see those sometimes. Yeah. You know? You're like, yeah. hey, he might quit or he might. I think everybody that lost tonight and everybody that won tonight learned and is going to come back better. Yeah, I agree. Well. And then like there's the the guy he was he was like the he was the gate guy at one of them but he was also the mop boy yeah. at another he was one of your guys is yeah. Coves uh, Corpse Corpse Mike, Mike yeah he was just in the cage dude that guy right I here. love watching him Michael fight. Michael Corpse right here dude he's like one Kors. of my favorite fighters buddy That's a little killer Corpse dude bro. he's like cleaning stuff oh, up man. and then he's in there just standing. I always tell people that man has three brain cells. We're done. Three, Wrapping it up. Four, River, hey, City, hey, River, River City, City fights. fights. It was great to see you guys in Muskogee. Awesome. Oklahoma. Peaches and cream with the Scoobs and Miss Mallard. We're out. Oh, baby. Yeah. Here, get yeah. in here, Miss Mallard. Get in here. We're all in here. Love it. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Hey, an amazing Love broadcast. Look at Alfred Walker, Walker promoter extraordinaire. February 11th. You get it back, Ooh. baby. I believe it. Back. In the big cage. Let's go. Did we get how many? Merry Christmas, we everyone. Get?